Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. We're creating an animated pencil in Cinema 4D. This video was brought to you by Skillshare, where you can get unlimited access to more than 22,000 full courses on a huge range of subjects. The courses are project-based and teachers take you through all the steps in creating everything from motion graphics to photography. And when you're done, you can share your work with teachers and the student community for feedback and support. We've actually got four CG Shortcuts courses on there now, covering a bunch of stuff beyond what we normally go into on YouTube. And we're releasing new courses all the time. So if you want to give Skillshare a try, the first 1000 to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership, giving you instant access to the entire catalogue of courses, including the courses from CG Shortcuts. So you can see if it's right for you. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So we had a bit of a longer tutorial last time. So this week we're going to do a nice quick effect a few people have requested over at cgshortcuts.com forward slash request. So if there's something you'd like us to cover, just head over there and fill in the form and we might just make a tutorial just for you. Okay, let's hop into Cinema 4D and get started on this. And here we are in the brand new Cinema 4D version R25 and I've already got a pencil model in my scene ready to go. And if you'd like to follow along, you can also grab this in the downloadable project file below. And the first thing we need to do is make sure that the axis or pivot points of the model is in the right place. You can see it's currently way up here. So if we try translating this or rotating it, it's going to pivot from that point. But let's just undo that. I want the pencil to pivot from down here at the tip instead. So let's do that. With our pencil selected, we need to find our axis tool, which I believe is now in the tool menu in Cinema 4D 25. I think it used to be over here in the mesh menu. So let's head here and grab that. And it looks like I've already got this set up the way I need it with the Y axis set to negative 100, which should move the axis point right to the bottom of the object. So now if we rotate this, it pivots from the tip of the pencil which is going to make animating this across a surface a lot easier. Okay, let's close this and we'll add a bit of random movement to our pencil by right clicking it and under animation tags, we'll use the vibrate tag. Then in that guy, we wanna add some random motion to the position. So let's enable that and we'll reduce the movement in the X axis. And I don't want this moving up and down on the Y axis. So we'll leave that at zero and we'll make the Z axis 10 centimeters as well. And the frequency is always a bit too high by default. So let's drop that down to one and we'll see what that gives us. And it's looking pretty good. The vibrate tag is always good for some quick organic animation, but we can probably make this a little bit more interesting. So let's go back to the tag and we'll also add some random movement to the rotation so the pencil can tilt as well. So let's enable that and add a couple of fairly low random values in here. And we'll drop the frequency down on the rotation as well. And we'll try that. And it looks like the invisible man is having a bit of a draw. So all we need to do now is make what he's drawing visible. So with our pencil selected, we'll switch over to point mode and we wanna grab the points at the very tip of the pencil, which is where the line is going to be drawn from. And we'll just make sure that we've got that vertex point and not the axis point, which is in the exact same spot. Then we'll hit shift C to open up the commands and we'll start to type store selection. And we'll select that and hit enter. And that generates a point selection tag that we can use to trace the path of our pencil animation. So let's go back to model mode and we'll frame this up and use MoGraph effects to get this set up. Starting with a matrix object which at first gives us a load of boxes in a grid, but we'll change the mode to object instead. We want a single matrix point attached to the tip of the pencil. So let's use the pencil as the object, which now gives us matrix points all over the surface of the pencil, but we'll change the distribution to vertex. And finally, rather than having a matrix on every vertex, we'll use the stored selection tag we just generated to limit this to only the vertex point we selected earlier. So that goes in here. And the matrix object just generates points in space. So this cube is an actual geometry. 
it's just there for visual reference. So we can scale it down a bit so we can see the whole pencil and so it's not so distracting like so. And if we hit play, that's now following along the tip of the pencil. And we can use this with another MoGraphed object. This time we're going to use the tracer and this is going to allow us to trace the path made by the matrix object. And because we had the matrix object selected, that's already been added in the trace link of the tracer. So from here, we don't actually need to see the matrix anymore as it's just driving the tracer. So let's hide that and let's see what that gives us now. And we're starting to get that line drawn out now by the path generated by the tracer. So all that remains now is to give this line some thickness so we can see it in the render. But before we do that, I just wanna make sure that the lines we're drawing here are nice and smooth. And you'll see if we go in a bit closer, these lines are a little bit jagged but we can smooth out the interpolation of that line with the type setting down here. Let's change this from linear to B spline and we'll make the intermediate points adaptive. And that's looking much smoother now. So next we'll set up a sweep to give this some thickness. And first we'll need to bring in a shape that we can sweep along the spline. And I think we'll go for a rectangle in this case, which could stand to be a lot thinner in the width so something close to the thickness of our pencil tip, like so. And also the same for the height. And now with that selected, we can bring in our sweep. And if we hold Alt when we click on that, the rectangle will become a child of the sweep. So all we need to do is drag the tracer into that hierarchy as well. So the sweep has a spline to sweep that rectangle along. And now if we zoom in, that drawn line now has some thickness to it which should show up in our render. But I guess this line should almost be completely flat because it's been drawn by the pencil. So we might just decrease the height of that rectangle a little bit more. Let's try 0.001. So it barely has any height at all. Okay, that's nice and flat now. Okay, so to finish this off, let's just add a piece of paper for this to be drawn onto. And in this case, I think we'll just use a simple plane and we'll also put a simple material onto the sweep to color that line. And of course you can make it any color you like. And that is just about all there is to this effect. One thing you might come across though is intersecting with your plane as it's the exact same level of the line. But we can fix that nice and easy by grabbing the plane and moving it down ever so slightly. And now we've got our final drawn line. And that brings us to the end of this week's very short tutorial. As usual, you can download the project file below to save a bit of time or head over to our website where you can download all of our project files and loads of other CG assets and resources. Big thanks to this month's patrons and CG insiders. You guys are the best and there's no way we could make all of these tutorials without your support. Cheers, guys. Okay, that's it for now. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below or you can leave a like or dislike and don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. There's loads of extra resources on our website and you can win epic CG prizes in our monthly challenges. Check out cgshortcuts.com for more details. Catch you next time.